All right, so this pandemic we've lived in for the last two plus years has really thrown a wrench into the way we live our everyday life as Americans and across the globe. Another thing that has really been affected by the pandemic is what it costs to live in the different cities throughout America. I'll tell you what, the city of Suffolk, Virginia, honestly, definitely has not been immune to that as well. So if you're thinking about making that move into Suffolk, Virginia, you wanna stick around, because in this video, I'm gonna go over all the costs associated with living in Suffolk, Virginia. We're gonna go over the cost of buying a house, renting a house, how much it costs to eat in Suffolk, Virginia, how much taxes you're gonna actually pay in Suffolk, Virginia, and we're gonna go over a lot of additional costs that you might not think of, but that I think are pretty important in living in Suffolk, Virginia. So with that, let's go ahead and get into that video. My name is DJ Parker. I'm a member of the Life in Hampton Roads team. Obviously, we're based here in Hampton Roads, Virginia. If you're new to our channel, our channel is all about there is to know about living and life in Hampton Roads, Virginia. So if that's the type of content you're looking for, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to tap that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime we drop new content about life in Hampton Roads. So over the years, my team and I we have helped many, many people who are moving either in or out of Hampton Roads, Virginia, and we really enjoy doing it. If you're thinking about making some type of move like that, please, we want to help you, so reach out to us. We're available via phone, text, email, however you want to get a hold of us. Bottom line is, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We cannot wait to help you. So, let's get into the video here. We're going to go over all the costs associated with living in Suffolk, Virginia, and let's go ahead and get into the first cost. Okay, so before we get into uh, the actual cost associated with Suffolk, Virginia, I wanted to get on my computer and kind of show you a uh, baseline here. Um, this is bestplaces.net. Uh, it's a great uh, tool to use, uh, not only for cost, but just information about cities themselves. So as you can see here, we're in Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, the population in Suffolk is uh, 93,913. Uh, that is actually up 6.7% since 2020. As far as the unemployment rate, uh, it's at 5.7%. Uh, the median income is at 66,822. The median home price, according to best places, is 281,000. However, I'll tell you that's probably a little low. Uh, what we're gonna do in a later part of the video is actually uh, go to our local MLS, which is a real estate information network, and show you some up-to-date information as far as what currently houses are selling for in Suffolk. Um, as I said, there's a lot of great information you can do on best places, but one of the categories here is cost of living. If we go there, uh, you can actually see the cost of living for Suffolk. Um, and this index here is based on a ranking compared to the national average of the United States, which would be 100. Uh, percent. Uh, so Suffolk overall has a 101.7. So anything above 100, it's a little more expensive than compared to the national average. Obviously, anything below, it's a little less expensive. To give you an idea, uh, Norfolk is around a 91. Uh, Virginia Beach is, I believe, a 105.6. And uh, Chesapeake's a little higher at uh, 106. Um, so that's overall, Suffolk's at a 101. So I kind of just wanted to give you an overall idea. And then we're going to go into each additional uh, cost associated with living in Suffolk so we can go over them all together. All right, so now looking at individual costs that are going to be associated with living in Suffolk, Virginia, one of the most important ones I think uh, would definitely have to be the cost of food, uh, most importantly groceries. Um, using bestplaces.net again, uh, they actually give Suffolk a 98.3 index. Uh, that's actually a little less than the Virginia average, was is at, which is at a 99.6. So some good news there. Overall, it's about on par with the average, but a little cheaper in Suffolk. As far as what retailers uh, you can expect to see in Suffolk for your food, uh, they have the big box ones of Walmart and Target. As far as the club stores, you can either go to Sam's Club or there is also a BJ's um, right outside of Suffolk. Technically, it's not in Suffolk. It's in uh, the northeast part or northwest part of Chesapeake, 
but it's right near the line of Suffolk, so I, I would include uh, BJ's as well. As far as uh, regular grocery stores, you have uh, Kroger, Harris Teeter, Food Lion, uh, you have a Aldi, you also have uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. So as you can see, there is a lot of different options for you to choose from within Suffolk when it comes to buying food. And it's not much more expensive in Suffolk versus anywhere else in Virginia. It's actually a little cheaper. So let's go ahead and move on to the next cost. Okay, the next cost I wanted to go over would be the cost of utilities. Um, obviously utilities is one of the most important things because that's what heats your house, uh, what keeps your house cold. Also, if you enjoy watching TV, um, that's you're going to need to pay for utilities as well. So getting in utilities, first and foremost, the power. Uh, that is handled uh, by Dominion Power. Uh, Dominion Power actually handles pretty much all the power w within Hampton Roads. As far as gas uh, used for keeping your house warm, also heating your water, uh, that would be Columbia Gas. So that's a little different because most cities in Hampton Roads actually use uh, Virginia Natural Gas. So uh, Columbia Gas Transmission is actually in Suffolk. Uh, so that's a little different than some of my previous videos where I mentioned Virginia Natural Gas. Uh, additionally, as far as the water goes, another little difference in Suffolk is uh, Suffolk actually handles their water themselves. Uh, that includes the wastewater and the sewer. Um, that is all handled um, by the city of Suffolk. Uh, some of the other cities in Hampton Roads, uh, you would use uh, HRSD, which is the Hampton Roads Sanitation Department, to handle the wastewater and treatment. Uh, as I mentioned, Suffolk takes care of all that, so that's all in one with the city. As far as cable companies go, so again, a little different than some of the other cities uh, within Hampton Roads. For the main cable company, and really the only cable company that's non-satellite, uh, that would be Spectrum. Uh, Spectrum used to be Charter, um, and that got bought out. Um, so it's Spectrum now, that's your main cable company. Again, different from other cities in Hampton Roads where you have Verizon or Cox, you don't have those options in Suffolk. Uh, as far as satellites go, obviously you can get DirecTV or dish. Uh, so let's go ahead and move into the third cost associated with living in Suffolk, Virginia. All right, moving into the third tax uh, associated with living in Suffolk, Virginia, I'm going to go over uh, the topic of taxes. Uh, not the exactly funnest topic anybody wants to talk about, but as you know, you got to pay them. Uh, so as far as overall taxes, uh, the state of Virginia, state tax is 6%. Obviously, that's the same throughout wherever you live in Virginia. Uh, income tax is also the same in Virginia, uh, no matter where you live. Uh, it's between 2 and 5.75%, depending on your income. Um, the meal tax, uh, grocery tax uh, in Suffolk, Virginia, is 6.5%. Uh, um, the personal property tax, so what you pay on a car or a boat, um, in Suffolk, that would be $4.25 per $100 of assessed value. To give you an idea, the city of Norfolk is $4.33, uh, so pretty comparable there, a little cheaper than Norfolk. Um, property tax um, is $1.11 uh, per $100 of assessed value. Uh, that isn't exactly cheap uh, when you compare to, say, Virginia Beach or Chesapeake. Um, however, it is cheaper than Norfolk, which is pretty high. Norfolk is actually at $1.25 uh, per $100 of assessed value. So again, you're going to pay taxes no matter where you go. Um, it's just a matter of how much taxes you're going to pay. Um, and again, those personal property taxes and real estate taxes, that all depends on how valuable either your car or your house is. Obviously, if you're renting a place, uh, you don't have to pay real estate tax. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into my fourth one. Hi, I really hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far based on the cost of living in the city of Suffolk. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button below. That really helps us get this video out to more people. Additionally, I'm sure I missed some cost, um, or if you have any questions, please hit those in the comment below, because I want to make sure I get you that information you need. Lastly, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is the type of content we publish every week. So if this is the type of content you're looking for, please hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to tap that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime we drop new content all about living in Hampton Roads. And one more thing, if you're thinking about making that move into Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Suffolk, anywhere in Hampton Roads, we wanna help you. So please reach out to us via phone, text, email. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
cannot wait to get helping you find a new home. All right, so let's go ahead and move into our next cost. Um, our next cost is actually gonna be transportation. So for transportation, uh, using bestplaces.net again, it actually gives the city of Suffolk a little more expensive uh, score for transportation, actually a 104.4. When you compare that to the state of Virginia, Virginia actually is right on par with the national average with a 99.4. I think the main reason behind the a little more expensive in Suffolk is they really don't have, um, they, do, they do have a bus system, but it's just not, doesn't have a lot of stops throughout the city. Uh, there is no rail system. So I think that inflates the cost a little bit as far as that goes. Uh, but for the bus system, which does run a few routes um, throughout more, more downtown, um, again, as I mentioned, the city of Suffolk is huge. So it, it, it can't go everywhere. Uh, it's not near as populated as some of the other cities in Hampton Roads. Um, but if you are using the transportation system, it's actually a $1.50 uh, one way and then a day pass is uh, three dollars um, per day and they also have monthly options as well um, if you're interested I'll, I'll actually leave a link in the description below uh, for the Suffolk uh, transportation system um, also while it's not in the city of Suffolk uh, most likely if you live anywhere in Hampton Roads you are going to hit one of the tunnels uh, or one of the tolls so one of the uh, more readily used tolls by people in Suffolk uh, would be, t be the downtown tunnel or midtown tunnel. Um, and for the easy pass, um, it's $2.50. Um, and then if you don't have easy pass, it's $5.81 during regular times. So that's definitely something you want to look into as well, whether you live in Suffolk or any city in Hampton Roads, um, as tolls and tunnels are very popular in Hampton Roads. Okay, so let's get into the next cost, which is actually going to be the most expensive cost, and that would be housing. All right, another cost, uh, regardless of where you're moving, is a very important cost, especially if you have children, and that would be the cost of daycare in any private schooling you might wanna uh, deal with. Uh, as far as averages, uh, it really doesn't matter what city you live in in Hampton Roads for the most part. Um, it's pretty much the same cost, um, just depends on where you wanna go and um, all the different uh, benefits uh, each daycare provider provides. Uh, some of them offer in-house chef, uh, field trips. It, again, it, it all depends on what, what you're interested in. Uh, I say on average um, about $150 to $300 a week per, per child for daycare. Uh, again, that, that varies greatly depending on where you're at and uh, what you're looking for. Um, as far as uh, private schooling, because uh, obviously public schools are free, uh, but the city of Suffolk uh, has a really good private school, uh, Nasman Suffolk Academy. If you go on uh, greatschools.org or niche.com, you can see the, where that ranks um, compared to other schools um, in our area. But as far as tuition, uh, when I went on their website, which I'll actually put in the link in the description below, uh, you're looking, depends on what grade they are, uh, anywhere from seven to 8,000, all the way up uh, once they get into high school, uh, between 18, 18 and 19,000 a year. So again, public our private school is not for everybody. Uh, you are gonna pay for it. Uh, but the good news is in not only in Suffolk, but in other cities in Hampton Roads, you do have a lot of options as far, for, as far as private schooling goes. Okay, so as far as housing goes in Suffolk, Virginia, uh, the income or the index, uh, as far as bestplaces.net, uh, it gives it a 101.1. Um, I will tell you that's a little more expensive than the national average. Um, and in our area, um, it tends to be a little more expensive than the national average pretty much in every city. Uh, a lot of that has to do with our heavy presence of military in our area. Uh, they're always coming and going uh, throughout our area. So that usually tends to drive up the prices of houses just because they move so much. Um, and I will tell you a positive news about Suffolk is it is a little cheaper to live in Suffolk than compared to other cities like Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, um, and some other cities uh, throughout Hampton Roads. Um, as you can see here, Virginia, best places, uh, .net gets a 111. So living in Virginia is a little more expensive uh, than some other areas you might live, but certainly a lot less cheaper than living in, say, uh, bigger markets like New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and the such. Um, but what I wanted to do here is just to get on my MLS, like I told you. Uh, this is our multiple listing service. Uh, in Hampton Roads, we use the Real Estate Information Network. Uh, anytime you see a house listed for sale or buying a house, the information comes from our MLS. 
Uh, so this is actually the July statistics for Suffolk. So the median sales price on a home in Suffolk in July 2022, uh, right around 354000 uh, pretty flat compared to last year at the same time. However, the number of houses for sale has dipped um, actually down uh, 15% uh, compared to June, um, down 10% versus uh, July. Um, amount of days on the market um, is starting to increase a little bit uh, with interest rates going up. Uh, it's actually slowing the market down uh, slightly. So days on the market, median days is around 15 um, which is up 3% compared to last year, up 20% versus June. Uh, there is uh, less, less listings, only 478, down 5% versus last uh, year. Uh, the median sold square foot is 178 per square foot. Um, and then as far as months of supply of inventory, which basically is if you factor in um, all the houses for sale right now, how long it would take for them to sell if no new houses came on the market, uh, we would run out of our supply of housing for sale in uh, 2.1 months, uh, which is pretty low. Um, however, due to the pandemic, the market's been pretty crazy. So actually, versus last year, that's up 5.9%. And then in June, up 27%. I will tell you, uh, before the pandemic, it was very common to see four and five months of supply for houses. So if you're looking to rent, uh, again, I'm on bestplaces.net to give you some averages. Uh, this chart here uh, is under the cost of living under housing. This just shows you what it costs to uh, rent a home or apartment. Um, if you're looking for a one bedroom home or apartment, the medium average in Suffolk is $986. Uh, a three bedroom home, the median average is $1,628. And then lastly, a four bedroom home or apartment, the medium, median price is uh, $2,000 uh, a month. Uh, again, as far as apartments and rentals go, that's very similar to the real estate market. It's really hot right now, so you are seeing some increased prices uh, versus what's been in the past. But compared to some of the other cities in Hampton Roads, it is typically cheaper to find housing, whether you're renting or buying in Suffolk, Virginia. So I feel like we went over the majority of the major cost when it comes to uh, living in Suffolk, Virginia. Um, I also wanted to go over some additional costs. Uh, some are optional, um, but I, I just think you need to consider them uh, if you're living in Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, the first, uh, I think you need to consider this if you live in any city in Hampton Roads, uh, would be pest control. If you own your house, um, you know, we do have a lot of uh, insects uh, in our area. Uh, depending on where you, where you live, uh, you also could have rodents. Uh, so you want to, in my opinion, uh, hire a good pest control company uh, to give you an idea on pricing. I know from my house we get quarterly treatment. Uh, that quarterly treatment uh, runs me, I believe, it's around fifty to sixty dollars a quarter. Um, so it's, or I'm sorry, fifty to sixty dollars a month. So it's really not too expensive. Um, I, you know, more of a peace of mind than anything that you're not gonna. Uh, see a rodent in your house. Uh, you, you will see some insects in your house. I don't think there's really anything we can do about that. So that's one cost you want to look into. Uh, another cost that's important depending on where you live will be the cost of flood insurance. Uh, that, that greatly varies depending on where you live and what zone uh, flood coverage you need. Um, so that's something you want to think about. Um, also, if you're, looking, if you're looking to buy a house, you need to know whether it's in a HOA or it's a condo because there's fees associated uh, with homeowners associations and condos. Uh, so that, that's on top of what you already pay for the house. So that's uh, something you need to think about. Uh, again, that can vary depending on um, what features come with each uh, community uh, that you decide to live in. Not all neighborhoods are um, HOAs and obviously not all houses are condos. Uh, next one would uh, be the rec center if you like fitness. Uh, the rec center is a really cheap option of uh, working out. I know for the city of Suffolk, they, they have a few rec centers. Um, their monthly fee is $10 a month for residents um, over 18 and uh, $7 a month for uh, teenagers. Then another, if you're looking to work out, uh, the YMCA is another great option. There's a lot of locations throughout Hampton Roads. Uh, that runs for a family uh, just under $100 a month. Um, and then last one I wanted to mention, just because I'm a real big into fishing. Uh, I don't necessarily hunt, but I love fishing. Um, I will tell you, if you like fishing, there's plenty of places to go in Suffolk, but if you also like hunting, uh, there's plenty of places to go in Suffolk as well. Uh, so you just wanna look into uh, what it costs to get a license, whether you're doing freshwater fishing, 
uh, salt water, brackish water fishing, or hunting. So that's another thing uh, you want to consider. Um, but overall, I think the city of Suffolk has a lot of great options uh, to choose from depending where you live. Uh, and costs are, are really pretty, pretty on par with the national average, but compared to other cities in Hampton Roads, uh, actually a, a little cheaper than other cities in Hampton Roads. Well, I think I went over quite a few costs associated with Suffolk, Virginia. I feel like I definitely hit on all the major ones, but if you think I missed anything, make sure you hit the comment button below. Uh, let me know what you think I missed or if you have any questions. Also, as I mentioned before, please hit that like button if you enjoyed the content today or you want to see more content like this. We really want to get this out to as many people as possible. And the only way we can do that is by showing engagement uh, with our viewers. Uh, also, I, again, I've mentioned this a few times, please hit that subscribe button below if you're looking for content all about life in Hampton Roads. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you're notified anytime we drop content. Um, and lastly, I wanted to mention again, if you're thinking of making a move in or out of Hampton Roads, my team and I, we really want to help you. So please reach, reach out to us via phone, text, email. We're available 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. We cannot wait to help you and, and we look forward to talking to you. So until the next video, I hope you have a great day and I will see you then.